for example, you know, if you're playing, you can think in terms of like, so for the the A A half diminished, we'll change it because normally it's A minor. Um, just change the chord quality slightly. You know, you would think of a of a um, um, of an F seven over A flat. The best way that you can figure things on your own is just transcribing because all the truth is there, you know. And as a teacher, a teacher can tell you, you know, like think about your amb. I mean, the things I told you now, think about your amateur, it needs to be relaxed, use the metronome, practice, blah, 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 blah. But then if you don't hear it, you don't know. You know, it's like, wait, but what do you mean? Like time feel like, what? what is that, you know? So I think that just going through the process of listening and, 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 and also to me, is there's such a beauty to the point where when you figure out something, you're like, oh, this is what it's about. I got it, you know, I got it. There, there, are, there are certain days where I may decide to actually play music as opposed to practice. And I think it's an interesting question for any musician to ask themselves what's the difference because clearly there is there's a there's a difference in intention there's there's a difference but you, you may want to just find out like even if you don't fully know what it means to sit alone in your room with just your instrument and make music maybe you should try major six and flat two that's a real specific sound right these are all B-flat melodic minor voicings. If I put a C in the bass, I'm perceiving it as a C minor. Yeah, hear what I'm doing? Even if you don't know precisely when I'm making the shifts, you're hearing that flat nine functioning over the C minor. So if I'm comping for you and we're soloing, I might go. Just thinking melodic minor chords also just up and down in whole steps, it kind of sounds whole tony, right? Yeah. 